let's hit it. And welcome to Alzheimer's Speaks Radio. I'm your host, Lori LeBay, and I'm so excited that you're joining us today. We are going to have a fascinating conversation, as usual, as we learn from people all around the world at all ages and stages of life. Stay tuned as we shift our dementia care from crisis to comfort. Here we go. What you think about? Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Alzheimer's Speaks Radio. I'm so thrilled that you're able to join us today. We are going to have a fascinating conversation talking about some new technology that's out that will help people engage. And uh, it's all through games, and it's going to be a lot of fun. If you liked our opening music, that was by the Mark Arneson Band featuring Maya Dore, and it's called Clarion Call, and you can pick that up on any of your favorite music platforms. For those of you that are new to Alzheimer's Speaks, we're about sound information, not just sound bites. We want to have true conversations with real people all around the world. And of course, to our listeners, I adore you. Thank you so much for your continued support, shares, likes, and comments, and joining us on the show. It's so important that we have these conversations. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to give a shout out to a couple of organizations. I'm a big believer in the Memory Cafe, as you all know, and so I facilitate three different groups. Um, one is on the second and fourth Wednesday of each month at one o'clock Central Time, so that's two o'clock Eastern Time, and they're virtual. They're sponsored by Arthur Senior Care, and anybody can attend those. Also, on the third Wednesday at 1 o'clock, I also facilitate another memory cafe for artists senior living in Minnesota. Again, same time. So feel free to reach out to me, or you can go directly to the memory cafe directory. Check out Cafe Connect, because that's where all the virtual uh, listings are for cafes, which is lovely. So you don't have to be in that location anymore to be part of a group. I need to give a shout out to, of course, the Dementia Map, the new global resource directory that Dave Weedrock and I just launched uh, over the holidays. It's really exciting. It's easy to use. So check out DementiaMap.com. Com. And Coral Health is still allowing people to download their two music apps, uh, Music First and Coral Faith, for free. So go to CoralHealth.com. That's C O R O Health.com. Now we're going to hear from the Foot Bar Walker, and we'll be right back. Introducing the life changing Foot Bar Walker. I'm Peggy from Danville, Kentucky, and I'm 91 years old. The Foot Bar Walker revolutionized my care of George. It absolutely benefits the patient and the caregiver both, and that's the beauty of it. It's so easy to use. It folds up just like a dream. I got it in and out of the car without any effort at all. The saving that I made from having to put him in a nursing home came to about $192,000. Does someone you love use a walker? Do they struggle? to get up from a seated position? Are you a caregiver dealing with physical pain and stress as you help your patient? The Foot Bar Walker was designed to assist not only the patient, but also the caregiver. Patients have more control standing up and no lifting from the caregiver is required. See how it works at thefootbarwalker.com. That's thefootbarwalker.com. Peggy, would you recommend the Foot Bar Walker? Do I ever? I would not be in the health that I'm in today at this age had it not been for the Foot Bar Walker. So I'm really excited about our guests today. Um, they are on the other side of the world and I'll let them tell you where they are located. First we have Justine Mu Zhang Un. And Justine is the CEO of Denzio, um, who after a few years of being a business manager decided to create her own company upon visiting a nursing home and seeing the need for new tools to help seniors train their brain and their memory in a really fun way. So welcome, Justine. I'm just thrilled to have you. We are very happy to, to be with you today. Great. And her, <laughs> her sidekick and partner today is Ines Jumla, and she is the communications major and 
in an apprenticeship with the company to help build the business development in the US and the UK market. And I can't wait for this to hit both of those markets because this is just a really, really exciting product. So before we get started, I always like to ask um, each of my guests if they have been personally touched by a form of dementia within their own family or circle of friends. And Justine, I'm going to throw that to you first. I am 35. I'm 35 years old and I have my four grandparents. And I, I thought it was really amazing because I'm the only one around me at 35 to have my four grandparents. And that's also why I decided to create Inzeo because I was feeling that they, uh, they, they started having memory losses and I wanted to help them. And I think it was great to uh, do a job, but uh, at the same time, help my own grandparents. Wonderful, thank you. Ines, how about you? Have you been touched by dementia in your family? No, not personally. I, I only have two of my grandparents now, but um, as Jason said, my grandparents also are starting to uh, have a little bit of memory trouble, but um, no, not personally, not with dementia. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. That just gives our audience a little bit of a base and, and so forth. Um, Justine, can you tell us how did Denzio come to be? Um, what was the process for creating you know, the programs and things that you have? Uh, it was a long time ago. I think it was eight years ago. Um, I used to work in a big company and I, I quit from the day one because toujours well, uh, from from day to day I, I quit because I was not uh, happy with with the value of the company. And I, I volunteer in a nursing home in France and they say, yes, we don't have an activity director so you can come with us for three weeks and uh, you will be our activity director director so I was very very happy and uh, I come to play with the seniors and uh, they were getting bored and they told me it's a game uh, uh, it's game for children uh, we don't want to play that uh, we are not children anymore and I, I the, the next morning I, I I came back with an iPad and eight years ago we were um, um, talking about iPad and seniors it was really not the same world <laughs> And they see the iPad and we play together and it was really uh, touching because uh, uh, they touch the screen, uh, they see something happen, they, want, they are curious, we, they wanted to know, to know uh, what is it. And I think um, I was really moved by those people in nursing home and I, I wanted to help them and uh, with my mom because she's our CTO. She's the one that uh, developed our games. We decided to create Dinzeo to do brain game apps, uh, brain game apps adapted for all, for people suffering from, uh, from Alzheimer's, people suffering from stroke, but we also uh, take care of people, of uh, children suffering from autism, because, because we want to help everybody and uh, give them uh, adapted tools for them. Well, and it's so important because brain health, everybody needs to pay attention to. And so I think that that is, is wonderful. When I went on your site, I, you know, I saw that you had some for kids too. And I thought, well, this is cool because this is stuff, you know, everybody can play together. It's similar. It, it normalizes things for, for everybody. And say, uh, how about the, the purpose behind the games? Do you want to talk about that? Yes, for sure. I'll, I'll start by saying that the main purpose of our, of our apps and our programs was to create uh, fun and adapted games adapted for all and uh, especially for uh, for seniors and adults suffering from Alzheimer's disease and um, so that is why we created it in partnership with occupational therapists, speech language therapists, um, activity directors because we wanted to create something that would be really really adapted for our target audience and um, so the main goal would be to for them to play games but at the same time also work on their, their memory. Um, and it, also what we realized while uh, making those games were um, was that seniors usually don't like to be put in failure. And so all of our games, uh, especially the one, um, because we're going to talk about it after, um, the Scarlet app is meant for seniors um, suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And the main thing about the, the app is that we don't put them in failure. So it, all the time there's going to be pop-up um, 
messages of um, congratulations, you did well, keep playing, and, and every time it's going to be um, like that. And we also want it to be something that would be attractive both um, for playing, but also attractive to the eyes. So this is why we created mainly big buttons for seniors to know where they could they, they had to press um, and colors that would be also attractive for the eyes. Wonderful, thank you. Who's gonna to wanna to do the sharing? I just shared my screen. So as you can see on your screen, what I'm showing you now is our Scarlet app. So this app is meant for seniors, as I said before, suffering from cognitive disorders. So usually it's going to be Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's and that are going to be used in, for example, skilled nursing facilities or assisted living facilities mainly, but also if, for example, you are a family caregiver and um, you just want to play with your, your mother or your grandma and you just want a solution that is going to allow them to train their brain but also have fun while doing it, our Scarlet app is really, really great for that. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about our games and how they are done and what you can do with them and if you need more information or if you have any question you can also send us an email you can contact us if you just want more information what i'm going to show you is as we said before and as justin said our games are all culturally adapted so i'm going to show you some of the games that are going to be fun for you to play as americans and what we try to come up with to be more adapted for, for everyone. So I'll just start with the Quizzle app, Quizzle game, sorry. This game is, as Justin told you earlier, we have a we have a top culture challenge that is coming up next week. And um, it's a general knowledge quiz. And what we wanted to do was find this uh, concept again and, and put it back in our games. And Quizzle is just that, it's a general knowledge quiz that it has more than more than 2,000 questions, and every time you have either American-related culture knowledge questions, or you're going to have just basic general knowledge culture, and every time you play one of our games, you're going to have three different levels of difficulty. So um, it's going to be easy, medium, and difficult. And what is good is because the Scarlet app is meant for seniors with cognitive disorders, usually they, they don't want to be put in failure and what our levels is, is going to do just that. So if you start getting used to the, the kind of questions you are uh, having on the easy version, you can just go up a level and try the medium version and, and the difficult and every progress is, is available on the apps. So I'll just start with the easy one and you'll just see a little bit. So here you can choose between painting or photo. That is going to be because every time you answer a question, you are going to have a little frame of either a painting or a photo appear behind. And the, the end goal of the game is for you to uh, guess the picture or guess the painting. And then you're going to have a little bit of a background story on the painting or the photo. So I'll choose photo for now and I'll show you. So what you can see here is you have the different categories. So you have culture, literature, sports, geography, you also have art and other categories that are not shown here. I'll just show you a little bit. So I'll do history, the discovery of what is to the expansion of California, the discovery of, of gold, maybe yes. So I'm not really good <laughs> with all of that. So what you can see here is that there's a little bit of the photo that is appearing. So I'll just do ge geography and that way um, you can see. So in which city can you find Times Square? Boston, Washington, New York, or Miami? I can say Washington. No, it's in New York. <laughs> so here you can see, because I, I guessed it wrong, um, the picture isn't show showing. So I have one less clue to guess the, the picture. What was the last date to be ratified to the United States? It's Hawaii. And here I have a little bit more of the picture. If you go to the to the question mark on the top uh, right corner of the of the screen, you can see if you click on it, you have different options for the picture that you're seeing. And the goal is for you to find the right one. So for example, you have CN Tower, Kyle Moore, the Peter Hoff, 
and you have to choose one. So I'll choose the CN Tower. It's the right answer. So here you can see the, the whole picture appear, and then you have a little bit of a background story, as I said before. So you can make the font bigger if you want it to be bigger, if you want to be more clear. You can make it smaller. It's really up to you. You decide. It's really um, adaptable for everyone's needs. I'll just continue and, and move on to the next game. So here, every time you quit a game or you exit a game, you have the option. Either they're going to ask you if you want to play again or if you just want to stop. And the next game that I'm going to show you is um, Geography. So Geography is a, is a nice game for, for example, if the Geography buffs and they really want to just test their knowledge on, for example, American states. Um, we have a version that is really adapted for American states, so here you have the option of finding the location or naming the location, and again, you have the three levels of difficulty. I'll do the easy one because I'm really bad at geography. Here, every time you have a game, you have the, the a really, like a breakdown of the, the rules, and you can either, if you're an activity director, you have a collective activity and you just want everyone to participate, you can read them out loud, or you can just start playing so the goal here is to pinpoint the right date and every time so on the left corners uh, you're going to have the state that you have to find so here it's Colorado and you can make the map bigger to have the more defined um, state lines or you can make it smaller and that way you have more of an overview every time you have the option to have um, a clue so for example, if I click on it, you have the option to have either the neighboring states or the major cities. So you can choose between the two options. And for example, here, you're going to have one of the major cities in <laughs> Colorado is Denver. And you have all of the clues that are going to be uh, put under the, the state name. You also have the, uh, the option to see the answer or go to the next question if you really don't know what the answer is. So again, if it's really meant for everyone and also meant for them to for the, the users not to be put in failure so if they really don't know the answer you can sh show it to them so it's going to show you where it's Colorado here or uh, you can move on to the next question so for example I don't know where New Jersey is and you can move on to the next question really adaptable again and you don't have any grading you don't have any timer so there's really no no rush you just have to take the time and play as for as long as you want. So last time I played with my grandma and she really liked it because she she just liked remembering things and she was telling me stories of oh I remember when I went there, oh I remember your grandpa used to take me there and it's it really sparks a conversation for for some people and it's a really good way to connect with with everyone. I'll show you another game. A card to date is a really good game again for if you want to just remember main events in history so i'll just show you again you have the options for example here are timeline and battle i'll do timeline the rules of the game and here you have the options to select a category so here for example i'll just do president and what is good here is so good for eye hand coordination you just have to drag and drop the little card here so because it's the first one i just put put it here and then with integration of Abraham Lincoln, you just have to put it, the, the card before or after the first event. So here it's before, and you can see the, the card that is being put on the timeline. So the timeline is, the, is the, where the cards are, and you just have to drag and drop everything. The timeline wrong, sorry. Um, it's never going to tell you, oh, you got it wrong. It's always going to tell you, um, you can try again. Uh, it's not the right one, just try again and never putting the, the, the players in, in failure. And you also have the option to grab a new card if you really don't know the answer, then you can change and you can move on to the next card. So this one is really adapted for American culture and you have also science, you have inventions, and you have many different categories that you can play with. And every month we do um, monthly updates so you can have new content, you can have new questions, for example, for the quiz or game. Uh, you're going to have new cards for this this game and um, you can also have new games if we upload new games so usually what we advise our user to do is for example just do do an update every one or two months and that way you can have all the new content on it now I'll show you uh, 
one game that is, uh, again, also really adapted for the culture, Granny Cooks. And Granny Cooks is really, really great for, for example, if you're playing with your grandma and you just want to make her remember of, like, the recipes that they, they used to make, Granny Cook is really, really good. And it's also something, again, that sparks conversation. You have the difficulties. Here you have the option of doing the recipe or the ingredients. I'll do the ingredients. And here you, you just have to memorize the list of ingredients and then you have to select with the options. I'll just do main course and you can see that you have typical recipes, sorry, from America, for example. So here you have uh, corn dog, you have hamburger. I'll do mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is really one of my favorites. So uh, here you have the list of ingredients and the goal is to memorize it. So you know that in the mac and cheese you have the macaroni, butter, and sometimes if you're playing, for example, with someone that is not making the same recipe that they're adding a special ingredients that they're, they're going to tell you. And as I said, it's sparking conversation is the best and it's a good way to connect. So, so you can see here uh, the, the different ingredients that are laid out and you have to select. So for example, I'm remembering that there is butter, there's cheddar, um, there's also macaroni, of course, flour. Oh, I, I misread corn, cornstarch and flour. And every time you can see the progress here. And um, if they're not remembering something, you can just help them and tell them, oh, but don't you remember? There's what are what are you going to add? Maybe a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of pepper, maybe I don't know, maybe an egg yolk. Oh no, <laughs> well then I get it wrong. And I don't remember the last one. Is it milk? Yes, it's milk. And then you have the, the breakdown of the recipe. And you can view it again if you really want to make it. Or you can just stop the game and, and just go to another game. So maybe one last game that I'm going to show you is a, re a really fun game. It's a game that is going to allow you to remember and find the right shape. So it's color form that you can see right here. This one is really funny and really easy to play with. So I'll just show you. So you have the option to choose between color and shape. I'll just do shape. The goal here is to, you have the shape um, that you have to find and then you have the three options and you have to choose from the three options um, what is the right shape. Again, what we wanted to do is never put them in failure. So there is no timer, there is no um, grading and you can play for as long as you want. Uh, if you see that they're doing doing great and that they they can m just move on to a difficult, more difficult level, you can just um, leave the, the level here and start for a new level. So I'll just show you maybe the difficult version here. You have more options and the colors are a little bit more similar. So you, they have to choose between all of them. Yeah, so that's a little bit of the, the games that are on Scarlet. Scarlet, as I said, we have 28 in total and you have a really wide variety of, of games. So I'm now going to show you uh, a little bit more about our other app, um, the the Clint app. So the Clint version is going to be a little bit more difficult and this one we wanted to make it more adapted for adults and seniors who just want to train their brain in a fun way. But this time that Maybe they want to be more stimulated and the same they're going to have timers, they're going to have gradings and they are also going to have maybe the option to do multiplayer challenges with their their friends, their family and everything. So I'll just show you that. Again, most of the same games are available in both the apps. So you can see, for example, the, the colors are not the same, the design isn't the same because the Scarlet app was, as we said before, created and designed with health professionals and it's the same thing here. So we wanted it to be a little bit more distinct. And what we wanted to show here is the different games that you can use. So I'll just show you color form because I just showed it to you on Scarlet. Color form, again, you can choose the, the profile that you want and you can play the color phone game. So here, I'll just show you the medium version. Here you have one more option. You can choose to do both color and shape, and that one is more random. So one time there's going to be color, and one time there's going to be shape. So here, you have to match the color and the shape, but you can also see that there is a timer on the right top corner, 
and every time you have to be careful with the directions on on the on the screen because sometimes it's going to be color sometimes it's going to be shape and sometimes it can be also very very hard see i just got it wrong because i'm talking to you and i'm not focused enough but yeah so you have to be as quick as you as you can and find the mo most see, i'm getting really focused now and at the end so here because i was talking and i was i wasn't really going as fast as i could you have at the end a really a uh, um, breakdown of what you did so you have different medals that you can get and then you also have the grading so here for example because i wasn't really fast i i graded two out of ten but yeah so here you have a breakdown of for example whenever you played and what is good also about the 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 cleaned app um as maybe we saw it before on the scarlet app you have a little bit of a monitoring platform um so for example you have a mood checking information box and uh, whenever you start playing a game for the first time during a day they're going to ask you how you're doing and you can you can just say if you're doing great if you're feeling down and everything here it's the same thing so the monitoring platform is a little bit more in in depth on the Clint app because you have information on how well you did the games that you're using more and the screen time you have many many different information so as for example family caregiver or as an activity director you can have information on how the person using the game is is doing and if they're progressing or if they're not playing as much as they could and it's just something that for you to keep track of everyone's activities on our games we have many different games for everybody and so for example if you want if you like words and you just like playing with words here is syllabus for example you have to put back the name so for example you have cockroach and it just appears here elephant elephant and yeah so that's one of the the, the other games so for example if you like words you can play this one um, if you like numbers you can play calculus or silly sequence and yeah so all of our games um, are adapted for everyone and that is one of our main purpose so i'll just end our presentation by telling you a little bit about the prices so both our programs are at the same price because both our programs we wanted to make them affordable so it's a monthly subscription and we also have a price that is a yearly yearly price so um, so both programs are at nine US dollars per month per per um, tablet, and we also have a a yearly subscription to our programs, and the the price for the yearly subscription is ninety nine uh, US dollars if you just take uh, the games. As I mentioned, we have the monitoring platform. The monitoring platform is a an optional uh, platform that you can get for thirty eight dollars a a month. Uh, if you're an institution and we also have different different pricing for if you're an, an individual that just wants to use it with their their grandmother or their mother and the pricing for that is five US dollars per month and we also have the option to just get for example a, a trial of like a three month trial and the, the pricing for that is going to be 18 US dollars um, again if you want more information on the the pricing range if you want maybe a quote feel free to contact us i'm so impressed with the work you guys have done um with denzio i i just think it's absolutely fabulous so enos who would be the main audience that you're really trying to attract with the games and and how they're used so our main audience when we created the games were skilled nursing facilities and assisted living facilities because these these are the places where our games would be most used with for example activities activity directors would use it would use our games uh, with seniors uh, if they want to wanted to um, train their memory and it's as we said before it's a playful way to to train your memory and that way seniors wouldn't wouldn't even really realize that they were actually training their their memory uh, when playing the games what we want to do as well is start branching out to home care services and caregivers 
for example, that are going to the homes, because we also have different solutions for the different targets, people that we have. So as you said, we have to be flexible. And so caregivers would be able to use our programs with seniors or adults that want to train their memories at home. And it's also maybe you can do it with the family as you said it's intergenerational we have solutions for autistic people children but also autistic adults and people can just use our games and in any situation and so that's what we want to do is first present it to skilled nursing home facilities because that's the main audience target and then after that maybe um, branching out to homes I, I will just add that when when we first started in Zero, obviously we work in France um, because we are French. But um, uh, in in two years we have developed several other countries because we create a, a nursing home competition that is called Tap Culture, and uh, it starts next Monday. And we have more than 600 nursing home around the world that are competing. Um, on trivia quiz and each country has its own specific question so we have the us that competes canada belgium switzerland luxembourg um, and french canada and it's uh, it's like the olympic games of the nursing homes and it's how we start uh, working internationally and it was country because nursing home was registered to a competition and we said oh, we need to create quiz about uh, uh, the us <laughs> We need to learn the culture, and uh, we and uh, when the competition is over, um, because it's a, um, the tenth edition, so it's a, the, we, we've done several competitions over the, over the years, and each time the the U.S. residents told us we we want to play um, all years long. It was really fun. We really enjoy yourself competing with French nursing home, Belgium nursing home. So it was really um, a nice enthusiastic moment for for them so that's why we decide, decided to create um, a version adapted for the us for italy also we are also working on italy for netherlands and we have a chinese app and each time we adapt the game for seniors suffering from alzheimer's so that's why for the us as uh, you have seen we can play with the um, the us states you have to put in the right order but in france it's all geography um, we have uh, the cooking recipe game for the us it's uh, us um, recipes but uh, obviously italians won't play with the same um, recipe they have their own pasta recipe so it's very important for them and so on and that's why the seniors like our game very, uh, very much it's because it's attached to their culture so they like it and they recognize stuff they uh, memorize some events and they get pleasure to play well that's fantastic because culture is fun and it's you know you're always learning and i love the competition piece in there and it just connects people around the world. I mean, that's a fascinating thing, especially you think for, well, I'm 61, so, but you think of, you know, our older adults, I mean, they, they just didn't have that connection around the world and how easy it is for us to be able to do that, I think is fascinating. I know many of them just when they hook up to like a Zoom, you know, they're fascinated <laughs> that they can do that. Yeah, and uh, just something um, for the competition, because, you know, in the competition, we also have a photo contest. And the first time the U.S. participates, all the um, assisted living facilities have their, 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 uh, their photos with the flag because Americans are proud of the flag. And it was so nice because the Belgium and the French took the flag also on the picture because they say, why is the American have the flag? We want our flag. And every nursing home has their own flag. The Canadian have their flag. And that was really a nice, ni nice, nice thing. That is neat. Any, anything else that we haven't covered yet that we, that we missed? I, I could talk about the caregiver's toolbox we have created. Because as you know, we, uh, the Scarlet app is a brain game app on tablets. And as we work a lot with home care services, we build with them a caregiver's toolbox. Because we know it's difficult when the caregiver's professional or, 
um, our fa fa a family caregivers go at home and uh, help a, a person suffering from Alzheimer, they don't know what to do as an activity. And sometimes uh, people are too tired to play on the tablet. So we build a whole set, that's a caregiver's toolbox, that you have the game on the tablet, but you also have a meditation app, relaxing app, um, drawing app, because you know, we know seniors like to draw. Um, 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 a ball to do uh, exercise uh, and um, and a well wellness kit and it's um, we launched that because we thought it was important and we have a really uh, enthusiastic return on this product and we feel that there's really a need for the for the seniors and the caregivers to have they are overwhelmed with all the information all they have to do and with this toolbox they have everything they need to take care of the seniors and it's reassuring for them so i think we need to work uh, deeper on this caregivers toolbox and last thought will be about the coronavirus because unfortunately we don't see as much as we would like to uh, our elders and we have developed a function when uh, where you can play remotely against one each other and we have families that during the the covid situation told us we have play with grandma she was happy it's really important to to keep the link with grandma so voila th th that's uh, something that's really important for us at dinze to try to uh, create links between the, the elders and uh, their family even if they are far away wonderful thank you um, Insne, anything that you want to add? I think we covered everything. You can reach these ladies by going to their website, which is denzio, D-Y-N-S-E-O dot com forward slash E-N. They're also on Facebook at Denzio Brain Games. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and um, email them at contact denzio.com again that's contact d y n s e o.com um, or if you're interested in doing a partnership with them you can email either of them at denzio.com and um, you can reach um, enos at i n e s at denzio.com or justine j u s t i n dot and i'm gonna Spell her name and not try to say it again. <laughs> um, M O N S A I N G E O N at denzio.com. Thank you, ladies, so much. I would love to see you uh, join us on Dementia Map sometime too and get you listed out there because I think this is just a fabulous, fabulous tool. We definitely will, will do it. Wonderful. We'd love to have you on there. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you, ladies.